that is within our 90 days program, the production of a better constitution where my COSATA will be controlled by the constitution. For more than 10 years, the country's constitution-making process has been nothing but a subject of debate. Consultations from technocrats and ordinary Zambians have been made, but to no avail. Worse off, millions of taxpayers' money have been spent, yet the process continues to drag. The Patriotic Front government, who had repeatedly pledged to deliver the document, have now lowered that promising tone, giving all sorts of excuses for their failure. Better still, parties concerned, like the grand collision on the constitution-making process, do not seem to be ready to give up the fight. Coalition chairperson Father Kichiti has indicated that his team has lined up a number of activities aimed at pushing the process. Uh, perhaps like other stakeholders, we feel there are a few issues that need to be ironed out ahead of the summit. So at this point in time, we would rather not publicly commit ourselves to the summit until such a time that we've spoken to the organizers to see whether or not some of our concerns will be taken on board. But we'll continue yapping until um, the constitution is delivered. And While so many protests have been held, government does not seem to be moved. Another opportunity to dialogue with government over the constitution-making process has been set for April 30, 2014, courtesy of the Southern Africa for constructive resolution of dispute, circled. The interest, however, for opposition political party leaders who wrote to President Michael Sata was to have the head of state speak to the concerned parties on the constitution-making process. It has, however, been indicated that the Justice Minister, Winter Kabimba, will chair the said Indaba that has been called by Sakod. Mwapek Mwenda, Movie TV News, Lusaka.